Hi there, this is Kathy Chow Isaacs at I Wear the Crowns here with you here today with another Minecraft Python 101 walkthrough. So today we'll be working on lesson seven, which has to do with um, conditional loops. If this is your first time joining us and you have not ever heard of the Python uh, lessons, uh, let's show you how to get to them. So I'm here at the start screen. I'm just going to click play. I'm going to go to my lesson library and then to the lessons. And I'm going to choose the computer science subject kit. And, um, and then Python. And I'm going to go to the Python 101 lessons. Okay, so like I said, today we're working with lesson seven, which has to do, the theme of the lesson is an emergency response. And in this lesson, if we look at the objectives, we'll be looking at um, using loops, um, making sure our sequences are correct, and uh, while loops and conditionals. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and create the world. And while that's happening, I'm going to just also share with you that if you were to go to um, education.minecraft.net, that's the Minecraft educator site, um, you can get a uh, an educator guide for this lesson, which com comes complete with all, all kinds of lesson details um, for you to teach this with your students, um, and most importantly, a an answer key for the code in case you need it. So with all of these lessons, we start by speaking with the CEO, and the CEO will let us know a little bit more about what's happening in this activity. So they're developing the agent to help in emergency situations that's too dangerous for humans. So they're still testing, um, and if we can get it right, then we can. If we can help them get it right, then um, they're gonna uh, unleash the agent into the wild in the real world or deploy. Okay. So let's go ahead. We take it on gladly. Let's go ahead and go to activity one. So we have um, what appears to be an emergency worker or developer, let's see, emergency worker, and um, they would like our help, of course. They need code that will make the agent build a two block high wall to stop flood water. Um, we have a, Loretta, a line of redstone dust on the floor that the agent should follow. So let's write some code for uh, them. Let's go ahead and say try again. And we see as she says, or they say, um, there is a redstone, the agent is starting on a block of pink terracotta and needs to make its way over to the gold block. So let's go ahead and press C to get started. Now with Python, um, you know, it, it, any code that starts with a hashtag, any line of code, that means that it's commented out. So, um, you know, this will be ignored by the compiler uh, when the code is run. And uh, the sections are usually divided up into parts. So part one says that we need to start with a while loop. Okay, so I'm placing my cursor at the end here. I'm gonna go to the loops drawer and I'm gonna look for while and I'm gonna drag that out into my workspace. I'm gonna place it right at the end of a part one. And what you'll see happens is that the while loop will insert itself on the next line. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to say while true, while this condition is true, and it says here in line two for the comments is uh, with an agent detect condition. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna look for um, in the agent drawer, and I'm gonna look for agent detect, okay? And here I have a block of code that says agent detect kind in, and in what direction. So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna drag it right before true because that's where the conditional is. And to make this all kind of work, I'm gonna, true is just sitting here as a placeholder. You can kind of see that with the red squiggly line. Whoops, I accidentally went up one. I'm gonna say true. And what we wanna do is we wanna detect a certain kind of block. So in this activity, we're looking for redstone, right? Remember the agent had some redstone in front of it. So we're detecting for redstone. And then pass, this is also a placeholder. So we're gonna pass this code. If the agent detects redstone in front, so forward, pass this code. So let's go ahead and um, get rid of pass for now. We're also gonna come down here to where it says part one. 
because we're still working on part one of the activity. And then um, we want here to make the agent move forward. So this is where sequencing is really important um, or the order in which your code runs so that uh, there's no boo-boos. Okay, so agent move, that's gonna be in the agent drawer. Agent move direction by one, and I'm gonna drop that right there. It might make us an extra um, line return, which is fine. I'll get rid of that. So right now we're saying while the agent um, detects redstone in front, have it move forward. So let's go ahead and say run. Okay, and then, oh, look, oh, it's working. I forgot to look back, but yay, it's working. So um, the agent is ready for us to go to part two. We're gonna come over here. Let's actually take a peek at this before we go to the coding. So we, just like in part one, we have a line of redstone. So the agent's gonna continue to detect for redstone in front and move forward. But then I think this time, this is a flood of water and we need to build a wall to contain that. Okay, and we should take a peek from the agent's point of view or perspective, where is this gonna be placed? It's gonna be placed to the agent's right. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit C to get back to the code. All right, so now we have um, part two, make, an make the agent place a block to its right. All right, now this is inside the loop, so we wanna make sure that we have an indent because that's how Python knows that this code is part of the loop. Otherwise, it'll consider it its own outside the loop or its own code. So we want the agent to place to the right. So we're gonna to go to the agent drawer. We're gonna look for place. I have that giant mouse, so it's a little bit hard. Oh, agent place direction, perfect. Okay, and I'm gonna drag that here. And again, it's gonna make me an extra line return, so I'll get rid of that. Agent place, which direction we want to place it? Yes, to the right, okay? And notice that this is a little bit different than move. So place only needs to say place in what direction. We're not saying how many, we're just saying place to the right. Whereas move, we're also telling it direction plus how many. Okay, so here I'm gonna go to line, the next line, and we want the agent to move up. So in parentheses, up is my direction. I want it to move up one. It already says it's a problem. Why is that? Move up one, nope, it had to figure it out, okay. Um, and then agent place a block to its right. So I already have that here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy the code and paste it. And then I want to move the agent back down. So I'm gonna take my agent move up. I'm gonna copy and paste it. And I'm gonna change up to down. Okay, so here I have, while there's redstone forward, place to the right, move up one, place another to the right, and then move down and move forward. Okay, so hopefully this will work. I'm gonna cross my fingers. I'm gonna hit play or run to compile my code. And let's watch. Go, agent, go. Go, agent, go. You can do it, agent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woohoo! We did it. Now the thing to remember also is that um, if you want to keep the code, right, copy and paste it before you hit play because the code disappears once you um, start compiling it and if you complete the activity. So there's no code left here. So we gotta go to activity two or you have to redo it if you wanna keep your code. So uh, we did it. We're gonna work on activity two in the next video. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon.